I wasn't supposed to come out. <laughs> Let's start over. Hey guys, Sean here. Thanks for joining me on another video. Today I'm going to give you a quick tour around the studio. We're really not around the studio, more just in the room that I do all my pictures in. Uh, today I had three photo shoots really back to back. Uh, today I photographed uh, Rob, Ruben Cannon and also Seda Jackson and her husband Kenny Jackson. We were actually doing a Valentine's shoe, plus we were doing a little bit of an editorial fashion with Kenny and doing some music shots for Mr. Ruben Cannon. Uh, so what I want to show you today is what I did, my little setup, and what I used to get the shots that I did today. Because uh, I really want you guys to start understanding how light works and what different light modifiers or diffusers uh, to use while you're shooting. Now you don't need, uh, really necessarily need the same setup or the same kind of lighting equipment that I use. You can definitely use your own type of lighting. You can buy speed lights. You don't have to buy studio strobes. It can be a little more expensive. Uh, but in this case, you can choose uh, speed lights like Young Newell. They're, they're cheap and the triggers that come with them are even super cheap. So uh, try and look into those. I'll leave links in the description bar below for you guys to check out on your own. But in this case, let's go ahead and get this party started. I want to show you exactly what I did today. Uh, first thing I used today was the softbox, the 60 inch softbox that's sitting right here. This is a very good light diffuser to use when you're shooting a lot of portraits. It really evens that light out, spreads it and wraps it around your subjects. Versus something like this, is, which is called a beauty dish. Uh, popular size is about a 22 inch beauty dish and this is a 20 inch. This is a slightly little bigger. Um, I do like using the size, but uh, 22 inch, I think I'm going to get that as I used it not too long ago. Um, I think I like that size as well. It's a little more portable. But this, what this does, is this gives you more of that fashion lighting that you would see in magazines or high fashion photo shoots. Uh, Beauty Dish provides uh, even lighting, spreads it out nice, but it's harsher still. Uh, now how that is accomplished is really using this sock, this sock, it's called a sock, to diffuse the light. And inside of Beauty Dish you have this little dish here, which light hits it in here and reflects outwards. Uh, this again gives a very flattering, really strong light on your subject. So with this image here that I'm showing you, you get that with this beauty dish. That's the kind of lighting that you get out of this. <clears throat> now let me go ahead and show you the rest of my lighting setup what I've got going on here. I've got two soft boxes here. Now these aren't the best soft boxes and I'm actually waiting for a couple more that I ordered. They're going to be the strip soft boxes which will illuminate the entire side with the grid on it. So that way the light is a little more focused. This way your lighting is spread out. So there's nothing kind of controlling the light where it's hitting. It's, it's actually throwing it almost everywhere. Um, so as you can see, I've got this turned away from the background because I really don't want this to light up too much. So if you look in this image here, this is what it looks like with these lights at the back. So it's not really hitting it that strong. It's really hitting more of the subject and creating that nice little rim light on each side and that's that's edge lighting you know it, it lights up separates your subject from the background and this is more modern kind of fashion style lighting I do like this kind of lighting myself it's great for portraits and if you guys try it out you guys like it as well so anyway so these are some of the methods that I use to photograph while I'm in the studio there's definitely a lot of other ways that you can do it but to be quite honest guys uh, you know your clients don't care all the technical stuff with you shooting they could care less about that all they care is about the final product but how to get to that final product there's tons of ways to get there this is just one of many ways that you can do the you can practice to get to the photos that you're looking for but I encourage you guys to get out there and practice uh, find your own mojo find what works for you guys and see uh, what kind of progress you make over the next few weeks or next few months or in the next year so watch out for more videos thanks for watching this one please share please comment please like all that fun stuff if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below I will leave links to everybody that joined me today follow me on Facebook Twitter all that fun stuff and I will see you guys later peace